And next time has come. Continuing on. We've got our little sewer section to make our way through. Provided you've gotten the odious chalice by now, you're never going to have to really worry about health or blood points. Because there's a lot of combat in this area. That is pretty easy to uh, deal with. And even without Thaumaturgy, sure, it takes a little bit of ammo, and you deal less damage if you don't have enough firepower, but still not that bad here. You got plenty of blood that you can suck from these rats. Please don't look ominous at all. Well, let's explore the other way before we go that way. And what mayhaps do we have down here? Dead end. Ooh. How scandalous. So you can fight this thing if you want. Blarg indeed. You can fight it, or you can just go ahead, jump across, and leave. See ya. because that did actually hurt. Careful on your drop down. Ah, shit, I missed. Ow. Well, at least I'm down. Now, timing your getting down from here can be a bit difficult, so I'm going to make a save. Who survived. Alright, what do we got in the Odious Chalice? Three? That's fine. Alright. 
So we do need to go both directions. How much experience I got? 15? Blood strikes to put him down. All right. Refill my blood points a little. You'll get more blood points back if you don't have any wounds. Load. Ulster. There we go. Eh, you know what? I've also got some, uh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. Drink up some regular blood. Alright, so that way's cleared. Love that blood strike. Come on, fill up some more. Yeah, fighting the big ones, I'm not going to try and duke it out. I do not have the stamina to uh, facilitate such a thing. If you mash the feed button, by the way, while you're feeding on rats, you can end the animation early. exit. I don't want to go that way just yet. Did want to clear my path there, but don't want to go there. Now I believe it's down here. Key, and more importantly, thanks. Not a problem. We saved a Nosferatu from a fate that would have befallen him. Let's go on and use up my chalice and last blood bag get back some and now my path towards the exit is clear now that I've done everything else that I care to do there's still a little bit more that I could explore in here but honestly there's no real point just be a waste of resources speaking of resources hey rats I'm thirsty I'm 
get my blood bag, uh, blood points up to a half respectable level. Would be ultra nice having those discipline equipment, but uh, they don't exist in this game. All right. So let's open up to the Nosferatu. After I get a little more blood back. Wondering why it didn't open. I mean, I pressed the button. I guess it just didn't like me. All right, down we go. Yeehaw! So we have made it into the Nosferatu tunnels. I want to grab that before I forget. Mostly so I don't have to come back here. We need to get down there. But how do we get down there? Well, let's take a look around. Don't step in that. It hurts. A lot. And honestly, I don't even know why. Knock, knock. What the... <laughs> well, you did not just try to put a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you backed off that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> Greetings, Gridmaster. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. Oh, my. God, are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Yeah, word of caution. Don't just open emails um, from sources that you're not sure of, because even just opening an email will set a virus off in your computer, potentially. Huh? Tango? <laughs> you came to the wrong place for dance lessons. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're Malkavian, eh? You got more than a few bugs in the software, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but uh, that's a tech problem I can't fix. Well, oh, yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You have a new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> Following your progress on the cameras, handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff.
His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Go ahead. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll... Go ahead. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> Go ahead. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. <laughs> no, nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Perhaps I could spin the web of my own? Y yeah, you, you'd do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way, make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> I shall spin the secret web. Oh, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Now, I'm probably going to be putting this one off for a little bit. Just cause Me? to do it fully, you need a oh, high back. stealth. Good one too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes, <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> but one day I ran across the system. Oh, totally dark, unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up, but I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. It was, uh, uh, was Latu database. Not even a really important one either, which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, Guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, he ran. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. I mean, yeah. Go Anything ahead. else? Nope. Okay. See ya. Alright, so yeah, we've got a side quest for him to uh, steal away into the night some network hubs. Bitch, I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. Hmm. Glamour fades. Bitterness petrifies. I mean, just look at her. Two fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiff if I was still around. <clears throat> what? Oh, no, you've got to be kidding. You're a Malkavian? Gary actually lets you guys in here? My day just went from bad to coach class. <laughs> Tell me more of this, Tawny Sessions. Oh, I bow to your greatness, Cleopatra. Cleopatra? Hey, that's my password on my... How did you... Whatever. I'm not even gonna ask. The name is Amalia, so I'd appreciate it if you'd use it. 
Why is this terrible hatred for Tawny Sessions, Great Cleopatra? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in a business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. Who cares? Sex, drugs, bad hygiene. Everyone gets a little dirty when the door is closed. Tawny's no different, and probably worse than most. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? This deed will be due. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Sure, whatever. Well, hurry up. It's sure. Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blank. Yeah, the lesson is, life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? Sure, whatever. So when it comes to... His room is just down the hall. You might be able to find him in there. Uh, when it comes to Nosferatu, there are two standard reasons for their embrace. Either A, they are useful to the clan, tech wizards, etc., etc. Or B, they are like this one here. A Cleopatra of sorts, a beautiful woman, or man for that matter, that uh, they have deemed to be basically an insult to their very existence. They're too hot to exist, let's bring them down a peg. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. A voice? I don't see you. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. Hmm. You don't sound anything like the voices in my head. Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. Hey! I was just getting used to that one. Tell me, the voice in your head, why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. <laughs> if you are the voice in my head, then you know already. You told me to. No. 
No, another voice. The one in the tower. Think carefully. Who are you here for? And why? You are him. Good joke. <laughs> uh, my mom told me never to talk to things in my imagination. You lost, <laughs> boss. As always. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. Hmm. I've got a nine, a jack, a prince. And you're about to deal me a queen. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? Hmm. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. <gasps> or did you ever stop to think that Wait. your fear... He's above me. ...even a voice would sound like this? Hmm. You want some? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Hmm. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. Do you have a copy of the receipt? I like to discuss business face to face. Then face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Nightmares are all I got. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Above me. I want it. Behind you, boss. Boo. Hi. And you are? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Hmm. Charmed. The box? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Hmm. I saved the voice from a uh, fiend's children. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but... I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Quay Jin? Uh, I mean, maybe. There was this one Asian dude back in uh, Santa Monica. The Quay Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Those wang jangling wires are very distracting. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. 
That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. Yeah, sounds good to me. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the LA Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. So we got an item. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Of course. Oh, what kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. I just assume behind me. Well, we got a couple bags of blue blood. Also, we have the webcams for uh, dealing with Tawny. And some uh, shit. Well. With that, we've got a few side quests that we can do. And it is well past 32. So... Ah, we'll go on and see y'all next time for the Sidecast Runaround. See you then. Cheers.